Hello, this is Claude with uh, Smart Chain Connection. And this is our ninth video from the series of um, building an Elrond node, uh, mainnet, testnet, devnet, it doesn't matter, it's, it's the same principle, uh, the same steps with just a bit of difference in, in the creation process. And we got to this point, and by this point we have a server that's secure, we open the wallet. We got some XC gold in it because we're building this on DevNet for the purpose of this tutorial. We installed the node in our last video. And now we're going to connect the wallet to the node. And the node will appear in the, uh, the Explorer. So let's close all these tabs right here. Uh, let's open Elrond.com. This is the main website for Elron. Now we got a PEM, PEM key, which is the actual node. This is, this is the key. You have to save it somewhere very secure. And now let's go to the wallet really quickly. So we'll explore. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Oh, let's leave it like that. Actually, let's go here. Let's go mainnet, switch to devnet. And then let's go here and let's go switch to DevNet wallet. So we want to open the wallet, access existing. This is our JSON file for the wallet. And we got our password right here somewhere. Right here, copy. And we're going to paste the password. I'm going to access the wallet. I don't worry about that now the the instructions all right so we got the node installed we got the wallet right here okay and we're gonna go to validate now make sure we got the 2500 xc gold we got 25 and one which is good because we need some uh, a very small portion for the transfer so go to validate and this is how it's going to look if you look at it bigger validate now which is the same with this just click on it validate now All right and this is stake or top up register nodes this is our stuff register nodes you click continue the amount of xe gold you need two five zero zero twenty five hundred All right and now we're gonna drop here your key store files. This is this PEM. Just drop it right here. The PEM of the of the node, right? The one we just saved from, which is the heart of the node. Which this is your node, right? If the node gets destroyed, you reinstall the node, and you put this validator key. And the node should work and take it from where it left off. This is your node, actually, the validator key, right? This is like your 24 words for the wallet. Those secret passphrase. This is this is the node, validator key. So this is what you're gonna do. Actually, this is a transaction of 2,500 XC gold <coughs> uh, with the with the node. And let's continue and see what's happening. This is the transaction that's going to be sent here, sent here to this address, 2500 XC gold, All right? This is the fee that's going to be applied, which is like 15 cents. And this is what's happening. It's a staking here up to this point. And then it's going to have another value up to this point, right? Now, this is the data. So this is actually a transaction. You're, you're sending this 2,500 XE gold somewhere to an address, right? And this is what connects it to makes your node valid and active. And you go confirm, confirm. And it's taking a little bit. The process, the, the transaction is processing. 
Now, if you click on this uh, magnifier, you're going to see what's happening. It opens a, a new tab and you're going to see the transaction is su successful. It already happened. See, you click done. Now, if you go in your dashboard, you don't have the 2500 XC gold. You only have what, whatever's left, 0 .0, 0 0.99, almost 20 XC gold. And uh, when you go to validate, you're going to see your node, your public key right here. This is your node, which is staked. And this is the transaction that took care of that. Now, now, if we go to Explorer, DevNet, because DevNet is uh, our uh, node that we just installed. And you click on validators right here and on all right and let's type best best because our 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 company's best staking something and we can see our node right here yes it's starting from zero so rating is only 50 for now but in a day or two it's gonna go up to 100 if you click on it, best taking provider 000, this is our node. Now it is live. This is live right now. Um, of course, on DevNet, but it's the same idea on mainnet. The same idea, just on mainnet, is real money. So 2500 e gold is uh, $600,000 right now ish. So if you click on that, you can see your rate ra rating is at zero right now but it's gonna grow no worries about it in a few days you're gonna get on yellow and green it's gonna be really good and then it's gonna stay on green if your server is up and running and you got legit stuff not just a um, very cheap server right so we said we got 2500 locked xc gold in our server so this is how you get the server up and running all right. Let's say you want. Let's say you want to get out of this. Control C, or Command C. All right. So this is how you get out of a uh, of that thing. If you want to get back to it, if you don't remember how, you just go to Elron Docs, Run Validator Node, and this is DevNet. And I'm looking for this. This is how you check to see if your node is still running when you get up. When it uh, come when it come up right here to check the server. So let's pretend we log out. We completely exit, right? Yes. Let's pretend we don't have this anymore. Delete the session, right? And uh, <clears throat> let's pretend we we get in with Putty. All right. So let's open Putty real quick. Putty. Um, IP port and then we're gonna go to SSH and auth let's get the PPK file all right open login as let's go Claude one two three paste enter the passphrase for the uh, private key is this now we should get in and now what we want to do we want to check if the server is running so this is what you do you just copy this copy and paste it here and enter this is going to look like this let's make it bigger so you can see more so it's doing all this stuff that means it's debugging it's going on the blockchain and stuff like that you can see the the version when the version is not right, this is becoming like a different color. And uh, you're going to see that there is an update. Once you got you got to check the uh, the Telegram group of uh, Elrond to make sure you're up to date with uh, with the updates. And when they send uh, uh, this is what you have to do to update the, uh, the server and stuff like that. You got to come and update it. So uh, up to this point, to get out, Control C, 
same thing right uh, let's get out of the server exit and put it so up to this point we got we got the server we made it secure we connect to it like only using five things only using five things and not just using them in a password so it's a lot more secure you gotta know all these five pieces to get in we open the wallet we got 2500 xc gold if you do this on mainnet you gotta buy eagle legit eagle you gotta buy legit eagle with your money which is like uh, today is like six hundred thousand dollars worth of uh, eagle 2500 eagle is like around that much and then from your wallet um and then and then you install the node on the server and you're getting an, a pem key you save that pem key which is, looks like this you save that on your desktop somewhere in our case it's right here validator key 2.pm pm and then you go inside the wallet and you create a transaction you click on validate because you're becoming a validator and validator node you go validate validate now um the register node right continue we're going to put the amount we don't, right now we don't have that amount and you drag the pm key inside right and then you click continue now it's not working because we did that before and you can now use the same key twice and we don't even have the amount of xc gold right now if we look inside our dashboard we only have not even one xc gold right and then it's gonna this is gonna connect because you put your money on the server on the node and then it's going to make your node active and you come to um to your devnet or mainnet or whatever you, you install whatever you install the node you go to validators right nodes and you type your uh the name you gave to that uh node in our case is best staking provider 000 and you can see it running right here if you click on it you can see more details about it and stuff like that All right we just install it so a lot of stuff is still working work in progress so this is how you install a node up to this point i want to continue um, with a, a couple more tutorials to show you how to install a backup node what to do to have a backup for this node and uh, then I want to show you how to install two nodes on one server. So um, I'll stop this video right now and I'll continue with the next one.